Hello dearest Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit if you're new to the channel, shouts out to my returning subs, a very warm welcome to you all. My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo baby, please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find that it resonates with you in any way. This is going to be an inventory spread, picks up on past, present and future energy. Now Virgo, I must say this is either where your energy is at right now or this is a message for you to take sight on what you need to bring into fruition okay now for me it feels very good it feels very good indeed past energy we have the three of cups the page of cups and the nine of cups there could be i'm going to try and keep it as general as possible there could be energies around you know text messages um apologies with the page of cups there kind of daydreaming as well you know, what life could be like, you know, fantasizing, that type of energy that may <clears throat> or may not resonate with you. The Three of Cups there talks about birth announcements, you know, um, and actually a little, I like to share stuff. I have six brothers, three of them are having babies this year. So, you know, there may be a birth announcement or something to celebrate you know, and I definitely feel like it's about soul contracts here as well, you know, people that are meant to be in your life, um, lessons that you're meant to learn from that, this is about having the right people around you, nine of cups shows me like wishes coming true, um, the universe giving you something that you've always wanted, the energy feels really good, looking at this three of cups though, I feel like, you know, a lot of Virgos, you do hold a lot of pain and stuff like that, but we're not even getting into those low vibrations, we're keeping the vibrations high, so I clarified this three of cups and I was like, why is the three of cups here? We've got the page of wands, which feels exciting. We also have the sun card and the ten of wands. So hopefully this is either what you need to take on or this is the energy that you're in. And that's like, you know what, life, life is, it's a gift, right? Life is for celebrating. Life is full of opportunities, excitement. And, you know, at times with the Ten of Wands there, it may feel like a struggle when you may have a lot of responsibilities and you're just trying to reach the top, reach the top. And I really feel that for you, Virgos. I really, what I really like here is you guys, I think, either needing to or you're doing it already. And that's overriding any negative energies that you may have. Really trying to live life to the fullest. Yeah. Let's talk about this page of cups, shall we? What is this page of cups all about? And if I haven't said it already, please, please remember to smash the thumbs button. Show some love, Virgo. What was I clarifying? The nine of cups, right? Ace of swords. Which is good because I feel like you guys are being truthful to yourself. The five of swords in the reverse position. I feel like it's an energy of realizing that, you know what, nobody's a winner. We're all in it. We're all, we're all going through the same thing, this thing called life, okay? And you just want peace. And I feel like a lot of you guys are being very truthful. You just want peace. You just want success. You know, you want to speak your mind. You want to live in your authenticity. Knight of Pentacles, you, you want to live life to the full. You know, hard worker. There's a lot of determined energy here. Whatever it is that you're determined to achieve good for you Virgo because that is what I feel here like you have a lot of dreams a lot of aspirations you want a good quality of life and you know to have a good quality of life you've got to put that work in so whether that's a message that you need to hear or the energy that you're actually in <clears throat> you know like it's it's a win-win situation getting into present situation I kind of love it Virgo we have the hanged man this is letting go this is say la vie this is looking at stuff, life, people from a different perspective. Letting go and letting God. It is <clears throat> Pisces energy. This is about surrendering the will to the cosmos. This is about taking an intentional pause and reflecting on yourself. You know, this is about you realigning with your heart and your soul purpose, Virgo. And it feels very promising. Well, I keep forgetting to loop the freaking video. It's quite annoying. I don't know if you guys remember this song. I actually, this beat, I made it. Um, but yeah, really, there's a lot of spiritual teachings here. There's a lot of realigning with your heart. There's lots of new wisdom here. Making the sacrifices as well. And knowing that life is full of miracles. 
Four of Swords talks about a vacation. You know, maybe you're going to book a vacation. Four of Swords talks about a deep rest, taking care of yourself, whether that's, I don't know, grooming, um, putting the right things in your body, exercising, really taking care of your your mind, your body, your soul. The Four of Wands, again, talks about celebration, celebration of life, celebration of all things glorious and gracious. The Four of Wands talks about twin flame energy. It talks about milestones being met. It talks about a gathering of souls, people on the same vibration as you. Okay, it can sometimes signify marriage. Stability in your home, in your relationships, that's what's important to you, right? Family, friends, lovers, and having healthy relationships. Despite, you know, the pain and whatever, the Ace of Cups is like really kind of opening up your heart, filling your, your heart with love, bringing stability into your life, you know, and yeah, you may have been sad, and people may have disappointed you, but you're keeping the faith, and not only are you keeping the faith, you're taking every opportunity that you are given, Virgo, you know, and fear may come, and confusion may come, and it could be with regards to people in your life, lovers, whatever, but I really feel like you're overriding that, or at least trying to override that, or needing to override that. I hope that makes some sort of sense. <clears throat> Before we talk about the future energy, let us, let's ask why the Four of Swords is here. The Moon card. So there may be stuff that you're fearful of. There may be confusion. There may be at times you suppress your emotions. Okay, but I feel like a lot of you guys are really working on your emotions or needing to work on your emotions. You know, you're very supportive to other people. So perhaps, hopefully, you're reflecting that onto yourself and you're needing to love on yourself, Virgo. Love on yourself. How many cards have I got here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? Six of Pentacles. It's almost like I want to say... You know, people have brought me brought me confusion. People have brought you confusion, Virgo, right? And it, it's like, okay, I'm a, I'm a good person. You're a good person, Virgo, is what I'm trying to say. We're good people, right? And you're realising, do you know what? I'm going to put energy into people that put energy into me. And if that is not reciprocated, then it's all good. I'm not going to put my energy into you. That's either what you need to take on or what you're doing. Why is a hanged man here? Ten of Cups. This is about finding your own happiness. This is about feeling contented. <clears throat> being grateful for what it is that you have. What, however little or large. The Emperor card there. You know, taking charge of your life. Taking action. Taking control. In order to bring in this happiness. Realising here. Realising that life is... Life is alright. Life is full of love. Love conquers all, yeah? And, and I don't know, Virgo, I just want to say, and I don't mean to sound patronising, but I want to say, like, I'm proud of you, Virgo. I'm proud of you. At times you may have lost the faith, and at times you may feel like giving up, but you've kept it. I feel like deep down in the core of you, you've kept your faith, and I feel like it's important for me to say, keep your faith with regards to love and whatever, you know? Keep pushing through, Virgo. Spirit wants to say, well done. Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands in the future energy. A lot of taking action here, Virgo. A lot of hard work, Virgo. And hard work pays off. We have the Eight of Wands there, which talks about positive, good news, positive resolutions. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. Learning. From karmic situations, cycling up karmic lessons. You know, the wheels are turning. The star card wants to make itself known here. Keeping the hope, keeping the faith, renewed hope. Knowing that you're on the right path. Having balance, healing, Virgo. Healing from shit that really didn't serve you. Healing from the depression, the anxiety, the mindset. You know, nine of pentacles and, and, and persevering, pushing forward. 
pushing forward i really don't think that there's much more to say on this virgo other than you're doing a good job be proud of yourself and keep persevering you know and i always say life is like a roller coaster you just got to keep holding on tight king of wands shows me a lot of you guys are entrepreneur entrepreneurial type of people you got a lot of skill you got so much that you can bring to the table. The King of Wands takes action. The King of Wands takes charge, takes responsibility. There's passion here. There is success here. A lot of you guys are natural born leaders. Extremely creative, extremely passionate, that fire. Building your empire. Okay, and radiating with love and lights. You should be extremely powerful, um, proud of yourself. And I keep saying that. But again, like, I know you've been through the disappointment. And at times we disappoint ourselves. And sometimes we've been wallow wallowing in self-pity. And, you know, we've had a heart broken. But it's okay because your tender heart is helping you to navigate towards your bright future. Finding faith in your future. Sometimes we have a hard time letting go. It's time to unhook your heart from any fragment dreams and give yourself permission to envision a brighter future. It's time to dismantle your grief and to reclaim your happiness and consciously step back onto a path filled with hope. Please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find that it resonates with you in any way. You can book me for a personal, follow on the socials and catch me for live tarot. I friggin' love you guys for the continued support, the loyalty. Make sure you are continuing or make sure that you take care of you, Virgo, okay? It all starts with self. If you don't love on yourself, how can you love others? 2023, the year of healing, the year of doing the work, being truthful to ourselves, living our dreams, realizing that we are worthy. All right, my darlings, love, peace and light. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you, Virgo. And the gifted will catch you on the rebound. Mwah.